Admit it, there's nothing better than pulling up to your favorite burger spot and ordering the menu. The convenience of having every type of food at your fingertips is something past generations would turn red over. But we often don't think about how this is affecting our health. I mean, you gain a few pounds, but what about your mental health? For years, studies have shown that fast food can lead to cognitive decline. Our favorite pizzas and hot dogs can actually hurt our ability to think and make decisions. This only gets worse as we age. Let's discuss this problem in today's video. What is cognitive impairment? What foods do I need to cut? What foods do I need to start eating? We're talking all that and more. So what exactly is cognitive impairment? Just to make things clear, a poor diet can definitely make you anxious and depressed. We talked ad nauseum about that in the past. We're talking today about something a little different. Cognitive impairment is when a person has trouble remembering details, learning new things, and making decisions. These are things that basically define our daily lives. From the moment you wake up in the morning, you're using your brain. In order to live, it needs to be in the best shape it can be. Cognitive impairment ranges from mild to severe cases. With mild impairment, you begin experiencing memory loss. Things that came to you easily are now slipping away. You even forget certain words. With mild cognitive impairment, you'll notice yourself getting clumsier throughout the day. We'll talk more about the symptoms in a minute. Mild cognitive impairment is usually what we experience before our brain naturally declines with age. Severe cognitive impairment is where your brain function declines to a point where you're actually in danger. In the United States, about one in nine adults will experience some form of cognitive decline. It's the most common among people 65 years and older, although people 45 to 64 are also at risk. It's also more common in men than it is in women. So what are the symptoms of cognitive impairment? A person whose brain is declining will experience a number of different things. For one, you're gonna feel confused a lot more often. Routines that you once lived by are gonna be much harder to follow. Say you're getting up for work in the morning. You shower, put your clothes on, prepare breakfast, head out the door. Just as you get to the car, you realize you forgot to put on socks. This is one of the more mild symptoms of severe cognitive decline. Over time, your memory will get worse. Another early sign of cognitive decline is forgetting important dates and appointments. These could be things that are marked down on your calendar, events you never usually forget but somehow have completely flown over you. At this point, your friends and family may get concerned. Maybe you forgot about a wedding or birthday party for someone close, or you forgot about an anniversary dinner with your partner. These are the types of things that cause tension in a relationship. Maintaining conversation will also become a challenge. You'll find yourself getting lost in the middle of a sentence, unable to remember words. Soon enough, just talking will be hard. Writing words will also frustrate your brain. Just signing your name becomes a task. At this point, your brain is losing its ability to perform basic functions. These are the things you need in order to live. How are you going to work if you're unable to make decisions or remember details, especially if your job requires you to be physical? So let's talk about diet. Fast food is not just a bad habit. For many of us, it's a way of life. Studies show that about one-third of Americans will eat fast food on any given day. Out of all the choices people have, places like McDonald's, KFC, Subway, Domino's, Burger King, and Starbucks rank among the top pick. It's hard to blame people for craving fast food the way they do. It's just so easy to get. With the click of a few keys on your phone, you can access the world of delicious fatty meals. Who wants to get in their car and drive to a grocery store when they can have their favorite burger delivered to your doorstep within 30 minutes? The problem is that processed food can lead to countless health issues. You've definitely been told once or twice about how salt and fat will eventually collect up in your arteries, clogging them up and putting stress on your heart. While heart disease is certainly the most pressing issue related to fast food, your brain health also shouldn't be ignored. 
So does diet really lead to cognitive impairment? I mean, sure, a bad diet can affect your brain, but does it really make you lose your memory? A study from this year showed that people receiving 20% of their daily calories from ultra-processed food are more likely to experience cognitive impairment. Just so we're clear, ultra-processed foods are items that go through multiple processes to be made. They're also riddled with additives like oil, sugar, and salt before being packaged up and taken to the store. Sure, it's okay to treat yourself every now and then, but some people put stuff like this in their body every single day. If every one of your breakfasts, lunches, and dinners includes ultra-processed food, your risk of cognitive decline goes up. During this recent study, doctors followed the eating habits of over 10,000 Brazilians for up to a decade. Over half of the participants were women, with an average age of 51. By the end, people who got one-fifth of their calories from processed foods saw a 28% quicker decline in cognitive function than people who ate lower amounts. So, how exactly does sugar and fat affect the brain? Have you ever heard of neurons? These are tiny units of the brain that serves as messengers of information. The food you eat will affect the neurons. The more sugar and fat you consume, the more inflammation your neurons will go through. This makes it harder for your brain to produce new neurons. This can lead to things like depression and severe stress. This pressure on your brain will affect the way you make decisions. This will only make your job harder along with your personal life. So what foods do I start eating more of? At this point, it seems like the million dollar question. Luckily for you, there are tons of foods that not only reduce your stress, but boost your memory. For starters, we have things like broccoli. I know broccoli is a no-no word for a lot of you, but trust me, it helps. Broccoli contains antioxidants that bring down inflammation and reduce brain damage. Still not sold on broccoli? Well, maybe you're more of a fruit person. If that's the case, try some blueberries. They're one of the best foods your brain can have. This is again because of the antioxidants that fight off free radicals and stop inflammation. The less inflammation on your brain, the more communication there will be between your brain cells. For all you coffee lovers out there, black coffee is one of the best drinks your brain can have. This is all thanks to the power of caffeine and antioxidants. Coffee will increase your alertness and improve your mood and concentration. Your trips to the drive-thru may not have stopped just yet. If you're not a coffee person, maybe you want tea. Green tea is particularly good for your mental health. All the caffeine works to boost your brain function. It also holds amino acids that boost the activity of neurons. Studies have shown that the antioxidants in green tea can actually reduce the risk of things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's down the road. On top of these choices, you can also switch to a diet of fatty fish, eggs, oranges, and nuts. If you're looking to treat yourself, try having some dark chocolate. It may not have the taste you want, but it can definitely improve the way your brain functions. Your diet is essential to your survival. You're not going to live a happy, healthy life without eating the right foods. It affects so many other things outside of your brain function. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more diet-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out the 19 best foods to boost your gut health. Or how about nine foods that make your liver stronger? Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn more about how you can improve your health through your diet. Have you or a family member experienced cognitive impairment? Let us know in the comments below.